Well, one thing we can all agree on is that this past week has been a very busy and newsworthy one, but thankfully it all ends on a celebratory note because February the 16th, all around the world, marks the beginning of the Chinese New Year. And in our own Rainbow Nation, our Chinese community celebrates the dawn of the new year with light and colour. In Bronco Sprite, the magnificent Nanhua Temple welcomes anyone seeking to learn more about Buddhist culture, Chinese culture, meditation, or even enjoy a delicious meal at this intriguing destination. This uh, temple was built in 1992. 18 hectares of land was donated for the temple to be built here uh, in terms of introducing Buddhism to the South African people and the African people. It's one of the 20 metro uh, tourist destinations. We get a lot of people, schools, churches, uh, and also youth coming here to learn more about meditation and also to enjoy our Sunday Chinese vegetarian food. Yeah, first thing you'll see, the buildings. You know, they are building a Chinese architect. The lions, they've got big symbol in the Chinese culture because it's the symbol of protection. And you're also going to see the dragons all around the temple, which are the symbol of wisdom. And we're also going to show you the Buddha. The Buddha is the founder of, of Buddhism. So you'll see lots of that, which is around the temple and the main temple. The temple is a non-profit organization and generosity is a key tenet of Buddhist tradition. So tours are free and the temple also has a skills development academy. You will see the lotus flower. A lotus flower is the flower which grows in a very dirty, muddy water. But when it grows, you find that the root is still in the dirty water, but the leaves are bright and pure and clean. So that is the transformation. It symbolizes the transformation, which in Buddhism we put it to transform from bad to good. And we also have uh, Nano Academy, where we also provide education to unemployed people. The charitable work done by the organization is among the many noteworthy achievements of the Nanhua Temple, which is also the largest Buddhist temple and seminary on the continent, housing a number of culturally significant artifacts. This is called the Chinese Bells. This Chinese Bells was played plus minus 2,000 years ago in China. So you'll hear the sound. It's the sound of a traditional Chinese gong. So I'm going to play for you. This one, when I play, I'm using this stick here to play and the sound which is coming from here it's going to be like a gong, a gong, gong, gong. But this one when I play from there I'm going to use the small stick and it will sound like do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. So the whole instrument was used by the Chinese people to celebrate like Chinese New Year, big events to bring people together for celebration. As part of its Chinese New Year cultural festival, the temple hosts a series of events that are open to all South Africans, including Dharma functions, light ceremonies, traditional food stalls and music performances. Uh, Besides the Chinese New Year celebration, we also have uh, Dharma services or chanting services. Uh, most attendants, uh, participants, are the Chinese people in South Africa. We also have every month meditation retreats. So you can see that we have throughout the year and also every month on a regular basis different types of activities. According to the Chinese lunar calendar, the new year is the year of the dog and traditional celebrations are all about family, friends and food. Chinese New Year is a very special tradition. Imagine how big China is. We have 50 different races. Through thousands of years, integration and mixed until today. We are friends. We are one big family. We must know each other then we won't get scared or fear from different cultures, from different uh, uh, races. And this world, we have no problem. We all can get along harmoniously. I have celebrated a uh, year of the dog in my life, in my existence, six times. This year is the year of dog. Dog is the best friend of human being. And you think of dog, you think they're so cute, they're so loyal. And then the next one is the dragon. Dragon is symbol of energy, and it's the most auspicious animal. And the third 
third one I like the most, my favorite, is monkey. Monkey is the symbol of clever, acute, and active. With so much to learn and see, broaden your horizons this new year and visit this fascinating attraction to celebrate the beauty of Chinese Buddha's culture.